Hey everyone, it's Lewis, aka Mr. Loser, and today I wanted to talk about something that we all experience, and that is anxiety. Feeling anxious is natural in certain situations, like speaking in front of a group, or starting a new job, or going on a first date. Whoever says they don't get nervous on first dates is a liar. But when anxiety affects you on a daily basis and it's stopping you from doing the things you love, it's time to look into the problem. It took me a long time to build up the courage to go to my doctors to tell them I was suffering because I was worried that they would think I was silly or overreacting. It can be embarrassing to admit you have an anxiety problem, especially when your friends are always like, stop worrying so much, just chill. But if you could chill, then you would chill. Who wouldn't choose to chill? One of my biggest problems is that I'm a people pleaser and on the surface that sounds like a good thing but it's actually really not. It means I'm so desperate for people to like me, please like me, that I find myself agreeing to things that I don't want to agree to and then I feel sick at the thought of doing said thing and also sick at the thought of letting that person down which gets me into a lot of sticky situations. So for instance when one of my friends is like, do you want to go out tonight? Uh, go on, just for a couple. But what she actually means means is arms. and what I actually want to say is I just really don't feel like it tonight but instead because I feel like that isn't a worthy reason I say I, I don't really have enough money it's all right I'll lend you some no you can't I insist but um I didn't sleep very well last night so I'm actually really tired we'll only go out at midnight you've got plenty of time for a nap well I've, I've got to get up early in the morning to um to do stuff. I've got work at 6am. We're gonna be in the same boat together. Okay, yeah, let's go. And that leaves me with two options. Option A, quit whining, go out, drink a hell of a lot just to appear like I'm having a good time. Or B, cancel via text and throw my phone out the window. When really I should have just said, I just really don't feel like it tonight. Okay, no worries, love you, bye. Because nine times out of ten, people's reactions aren't anywhere near as bad as you expect them to be. I also think that the pace of life is so fast these days that it's bound to add extra anxiety and stress to us because there's always a million things to do and people are expecting results faster and faster. So time management is crucial and for me that is not my strong point. Just while making this video, I'm also typing a text, an email and writing a novel. So I think it's really important to slow down and take time out for ourselves, but I know that's easier said than done. For me, my anxiety affects me physically. Some people have panic attacks whereas I am sick. I have a type of acid reflux which also affects my sinuses so I get yucky stuff dripping down and yucky stuff coming up. It's all very yucky. And when I'm anxious this is 10 times worse and I can't bring myself to eat until later in the day which in turn makes me feel bad because I don't want to get skinny and then it's just a catch-22 and a cycle of horribleness. If only food was this Big. So because of all this, I finally decided to go on anxiety medication called Citalopram. I've only recently started taking it and I kept stopping and starting. So as of this week, I'm going to be religiously taking one 20 milligram tablet a day and I really hope to see some changes. Ultimately, I wanted to share this video to reach out to other people who are suffering with anxiety and just let you know that you're not alone and there is help out there. And most importantly, it's nothing to be ashamed of. If anybody's got any tips on how to de-stress and relax, leave a comment below because I'm sure it'll be helpful not only to me but to other people watching the video. Speaking of things that make you anxious, I had the honour of presenting the Positive LGBT Role Model Award the other week at the National Diversity Awards which was an amazing night and I took my mum and she loved it because she's not usually my plus one to things. I'm a bad son. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all very soon.